What we have here is a ripstop nylon material we'll be using to cut the rest of the wing pieces. We'll refer to the pattern provided for cutting out the pieces. You'll see we have two sizes listed here. The materials that we get come in 41 and a half inch widths where you will need 15 inches of material. We also have 55 and a half inches where you'll need 11 inches of material to create one wing and tail assembly. This will give you an idea of how much material you actually need to buy. We start out by gently rubbing the ripstop. Um, this has two functions. One to get the air bubbles out from underneath so the pattern is, so the material is smooth against the glass. Second is to create a static charge. Uh, this helps hold the material to the glass. Referring to our pattern, we take our first template and we need to figure out where to lay it so that we can make most efficient use of the material. Okay, we are using G10 for our materials uh, primarily because we have cut hundreds of patterns. You can use a thinner material like a poster board. Uh, a poster board has the advantages that it can be cut with scissors. Uh, it's much easier to make a template out of. Uh, the advantage of the G10 is it is impossible to cut through with the knife that you're going to be using. Again, we are using a hot knife here to cut the material and it is recommended that you have a sharp blade to do this. You'll pick a convenient starting point and just carefully work your way around the pattern. Try to keep pressure on the pattern near to the area that you're cutting and try and keep the pattern from moving. Once you've finished cutting all the way around the pattern, gently start removing the cut piece of material. If you find any areas that it is not cut through, you will need to recut this. Uh, if it takes anything more than a gentle pull to separate the materials, go over the area again with a hot knife. We'll again refer to our pattern to see where to put the place the template next. Again, this is to make most efficient use of the material. It sometimes helps to take the another piece that you're going to cut in an area just to make sure that you have enough material left over. This will help guide you as to exactly where you need to place the material. It is recommended that you do not use a previous cut line as any point of your pattern. Uh, you always want to cut 
through material all the way around the pattern. You'll notice when we get into areas that have inside corners, you'll always want to put the point towards the corner and cut away from the corner. And then here's a better example of how you put the point of the blade into the corner and cut out away from the corner. And we'll gently, gently start pulling the material away. If we come across any areas as shown here where the material just does not want to separate, take your knife and cut through the material again. You shouldn't require anything more than a very gentle pull to separate the material. Be very careful during this phase. You want to cut through the exact lines as you, as you can see. The two wings need to be as close to identical as possible. If you're not comfortable freehand cutting, place the template back over and align it, and then make your cuts a second time. Now I'll be cutting one of the wingtip pieces. This will seal in some carbon fiber spars later on. Same procedure as before. Hold the template down, cut all around, being very careful not to move the pattern. And as you can see here, the pattern did actually move while I was cutting. In this instance, it is okay, as the material left is bigger than the pattern. So we'll just go through and we'll line the pattern as best we can and cut off the excess material. If, however, the pattern is smaller, you will need to recut the entire piece.
Next we'll be cutting the material for the tail. Notice we are using a soldering soldering iron holder to hold the hot knife when it's not in use. A uh, hot knife is nothing more than a soldering iron with the right, with the exacto blade on the end of it. You do not want this coming in contact with any of the material that you're going to use; it will melt it. Now we're cutting the second wing tip piece it will need for The last pieces will be cut in our half inch strips needed to cover the remaining carbon fiber spars uh, in construction of the wing. As you can see here we have built a template that creates six of these at a time for us. What we do is we lay it down in the pattern. If you can line it up to a straight edge that is fine. You can use a straight edge in this instance. Uh, here you'll notice that we can't quite line it up to a straight edge. so we'll be cutting a small amount of material off the first cut and we just keep cutting through the materials now if you don't have a rigid material to create this out of you can do this out of a single template you will need a total of eight of these Now here, because we need eight, I need to cut two more. I line it up with the last cut I just made. And once the template is in position, I will cut two more. And you can see I've got all eight pieces cut out. What we're going to do is we're going to smooth the material back out so it's as close to being uncut as it was originally. And we'll lay the pattern sideways across the top. And we'll make one final cut to separate all these pieces. <laughs> 